Hey, what's up guys? So we got a few new Yu-Gi-Oh cards to check out and one of them is actually crazy, crazy good. But anyways, the first card that I want to go over is the new Samurai Skull Monster. Here's what it looks like up close. But uh, we're here for its effect. Uh, heck, we can read the effect right here by just zooming in. But anyways, uh, it's a new uh, Dark Level 4 and it's got 1700 attack and it says, When this card is normal summon, you get to send one zombie monster from your deck to the graveyard. And if this face-up card in its owner control leaves a field because of an opponent's card effect, you get to spell summon one level 4 or lower zombie monster from your deck. That is so insane that you could just get another uh, card that... Uh, you could just go kind of loop it essentially with uh, the effect of the zombie master because you could just special with zombie master. Zombie master can bring back this card. However, it won't get that effect to send another one um, if it's just in its owner's control leaves the field. So that is actually pretty cool and it has zero defense so that actually can help quite a bit uh, because a lot of the zombie supports uh, works around having like under a certain amount of defense. Some of them are uh, requiring something to be zero. But a uh, pretty good card, definitely just some like generic zombie support, but uh, I don't know if the samurai zombies will be a thing. That would be a cool archetype if they have like the undead six samurais. Konami, please make it, man. Drop a like on if you guys want to see zombies six samurais. That would be a cool new uh, archetype. But uh, anyways, next up, this card is absolutely amazing. Power Angel Vicaria, definitely going to be helping out counter first, as well as the Herald archetype. Not that I'm a fan of Herald because I don't like playing against that deck because that deck does not let you play. But uh, anyways, let's go and check out the new Power Angel Vicaria. She's looking pretty good, but we're here for the effects. But uh, anyways, new card and it's a uh, level 4 fairy with 1800 attack, uh, 1050 defense. So uh, rip your math skills over here. But anyways, uh, it says you can only use this card's name effect once per turn. So if you negate the activation of a monster effect, spell, or trap card, you get to add one light fairy type monster from your deck to your hand. That is absolutely crazy. It's not like it has to have a certain amount of stats or a level or requirement. It's just any light fairy. And I was like, dude, you could add so many good cards. I kind of went ahead and did the homework for you guys because I'm like, you know, what the heck is available? That is something that people would actually play. Obviously, uh, normal monsters, if we count those, there's like, they're 233, uh, including normal monsters. But realistically, there's really not any really good normal monsters. I mean, heck, you maybe go for that Moki Moki, right? <laughs> but uh, for the most part, there isn't really any good... Uh, uh, normal monsters, maybe Mystical Triangle, but you wouldn't really want to add that to your hand. Anyways, uh, even if we go into the effect section, there's still 200 Light Fairy monsters that you can add. But again, you can add Cephalon, Hyperion, Christia, you can go for Vandy's Ruler. Heck, any of the new Parshath cards would be viable. The Artifacts, those are actually fairies, surprisingly. Um, then there's the Star Seraph Engine, all the Heralds. So like, what I thought was crazy with this is you could uh, negate one thing, and then as soon as you negate one thing, you can go for another Herald, and then like, just go negate another monster effect. That would be pretty dirty. Uh, heck, Honest, and going back to what I was saying with Herald of Perfection, if you have Herald of Perfection plus this new card out on board, you could add Manju, which then adds you another card. <laughs> and oh, I don't know, guys, it's, it's gonna be crazy. We'll have to wait and see how good the new fairy uh, support will be because, um, like I said, the new Parshat stuff, it could be pretty deadly. I did a video showcasing off the new Parshat stuff, so if you guys want to check that out, I'll leave it down below in the description box. But uh, basically, uh, the guy never really got to play. Like, I got rid of every single one of his draw phases uh, with a card called uh, Drastic Drop Off. But if I added this card, I'd be able to add another fairy. I'd be able to add another card. And we got this level 4 up to like 4,700 attack. It's it's pretty dirty to uh, utilize this. Like I said, I'll link it down below if any of you guys are interested in seeing uh, the counter fairies. They haven't added this card yet get into Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro at the moment of me making this video, but uh, I, I will definitely test it out for you guys and we'll see how good Power Angel Valkyrie is. Because I, like I said, it, it, it just lets you add any light fairy. That's that searches out like the entire deck of the, the new counter fairy stuff. Because some of the other stuff lets you add the counter trap cards. But uh, anyways, also some just Yu-Gi-Oh! news in general. Uh, the rarities for uh, two of the Link monsters have been revealed. M uh, Mrs. Radiant is going to be a super rare. Gaia Saber the Lightning Shadow is a secret rare. Um, but uh, next up, uh, important things. New cards. New Infernity card. Infernity Patriarchy. <laughs> or Patriarch, not the Patriarchy. Alright, uh, but anyways, so it's a new card and it says... Uh, if this card is the only card in your hand, you could special summon it from your hand. You can only special summon Inferni Patriarch once per turn this way. While you have no cards in your hand, if an Inferni monster you control would be destroyed by battle or by card effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead. So that can kind of help out protect your cards. I mean, they, they've hit Infernities pretty hard on the ban list. 
who knows if that deck can actually come back from the darkness but if they're going to release more support you best believe they're going to try to make it good or they'll, they'll make, make the, the new support so good that you don't even need the older support sometimes that does happen like with the older six samurais no one really plays any of the older six samurais i mean we play like the, some of the draw power but that's really about it but uh, anyways there's also a new card called Interrupt Resistor, which is kind of like a, uh, a hand trap. But uh, anyways, let's check him out. So it's a new level six, uh, important that it is, it, it is a cyber monster, because that can actually help out with a lot of these other things, supporting the link summons. But uh, anyways, uh, its effect is when you take uh, battle damage, you can special summon this card from your hand. And if you do, it gains attack equal to the damage you took. And then once per turn, when your other defense position monster is attacked by an opponent's monster during damage calculation, you can make your monster's defense become equal to this card's uh, during damage calculation. Only it cannot be destroyed by that battle. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this. Like, Trigodia and Gores have been like the hand traps that like have extra attack. I don't know if I'm a fan of this card. It is a light, so that can help out with maybe some Chaos decks. I know Chaos Lightstorm will be a very popular deck once we get some of the dark stuff, so this will at least be another light target that you can banish, because it doesn't really matter. It's not a light sworn. Uh, but overall, I don't think this card's going to see very much play, but you guys let me know if you disagree and you think Interrupt Resistor is a really good card. But anyways, boys, that is it for some of the new Yu-Gi-Oh cards to check out. But let me know which one is your favorite, maybe which one you are excited to use in a new deck, as well as some of the combos, because like I said, I'll get you guys footage of this card, the new Power Angel Valkyria. I think this card is absolutely amazing. Uh, definitely going to be using it in my counter fairies because it searches out like anything that's a fairy. <laughs> well, it has to be light, but it, pretty much most of the fairies are in the game are light. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing some new Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And, oh, Konami, please, if you're watching this, because I know you've watched my videos, can you please make Zombie Six Samurais? That would, I think that that would be a really hype archetype. But buff up Ninja so we could do Ninja versus Samurais. I think that'd be a cool video. Uh, but anyways, that's a uh, ranting on uh, for a little bit too long. But thanks for watching, guys, and I am signing out.